I'm saying this more as like existentialism, you know? I don't know what you're talking about, but it sounds illegal. Wes Anderson creates a triumphant animated storytelling. Honey, I'm seven non-Fox years old now. My father died at seven and a half. I don't want to live in a hole anymore. And I'm going to do something about it. Don't buy this tree, Foxy. This is Boggus, Bunce, and Bean, three of the meanest, nastiest, ugliest farmers in this valley. You're moving into the most dangerous neighborhood for someone of your type of species. Your comments are valuable, but I'm going to ignore your advice. The cuss you are. Are you cussing with me? No, you cussing with me? Don't cuss and point You're going to cuss with somebody. You're not going to cuss. Just buy the tree, okay? Rolling Stone raves. Fantastic Mr. Fox is a movie that deserves to be called groundbreaking. It looks like nothing you've seen before. I look good? Yeah, we do. It's proof that Pixar doesn't have a monopoly on heartfelt and funny. Pet. <laughs> I'm asking if he thinks we're in for a hard winter. Academy Award winner, George Clooney. What's this thing you do, the whistle with the clicking sound? That's my trademark. <whistles> Academy Award winner, Meryl Streep. You really are a quote-unquote fantastic fox. I try. Jason Schwartzman, Bill Murray, Willem Dafoe, Owen Wilson. Woo, whack bass, real simple. There's three grabbers, three taggers, five quid runners, and a player at whack bass. Center tiger lights a pine cone, chucks it over the basket, and whack batter tries to hit the cedar stick off the cross rock. Fantastic, Mr. Fox. Quid runners dash back and forth until the pine cone burns out, then you count up however many score downs it adds up to and divide that by nine. Right? 